Welcome everyone to the second photo matching tutorial. In the first tutorial, we saw how you can create a photo match inside of Lumion without the need to edit the final render with other programs such as Photoshop. In this tutorial, we'll use a slightly more complex photo for our photo match. It has some objects in the foreground and background of where we will be placing our house. To keep these additional elements of our photo in the final render, we'll be using Lumion's 3D models and Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, any other image editor with similar functionality will do. Let's start with the basic photo match. We'll start with a new project on the empty green field. Now, let's add the Van Manen Villa model, which we used in our first tutorial. Remember, if you don't see the villa in the Import Models menu, you will need to load the Van Manen example scene once so that the villa itself can be made available to use from the import model list in any new Lumion project, such as our empty green field. To get some context, let's place the villa at its target location using OpenStreetMap, as the OSM objects can help us to get the scaling right. We'll use a location in the Netherlands. You can find the full address in the video description to copy and paste into Lumion. Let's hide the object that we see at this location, since it will be replaced with our villa. Let's position and rotate the villa to place it just right. Now that that's done, let's go to photo mode and take a snapshot. Let's then add the photo matching effect to our effects list. The first default example is an aerial photo, which is similar to our own photo, so we can keep it as is. Now, let's load the photo we'll be using. If you'd like to follow along with the same photo I'm using, please download it from the link in the video description. Place the red and blue axis lines as we learned in our first tutorial. Luckily, the house in this photo is close to a rectangular shape, so we can use its walls and edges to get the perspective right. Remember, you can use the cube and grid to help guide your axis lines. Let's place the cube's anchor point on this corner of the house in the photo, which will indicate where our model will be loaded. Clicking on Place Reference Point will take us back to our Lumion model and OSM map, where we will place the reference point in the same corner of the villa. After confirming, the model will be loaded on the photo. Rotate and scale the model until it matches the photo. As you can see, you can use the OSM objects as references to get the scale right. Use the base of these objects for reference, as their height data is not set correctly in OpenStreetMaps. Press the Shift key while adjusting the scaling slider for a more precise control. Now that it looks decent, we can go back into our editor mode and hide the OSM objects so that they don't show up in the photo matching. Don't worry that our house is bigger than the one originally in the photo. We'll go over tips on how to fix areas where our model is on top of the bushes and trees of the photo. Now it's time to edit the lighting effects that are used on our 3D model to get it to blend in better with the photo. It looks like the photo was taken on an overcast day. Let's load the overcast style. There are some trees at the front and at the side of our villa which are being obstructed by it when they should actually be in front of the villa from this perspective. To fix this, what we'll do is place similar trees and bushes from the Lumion library at the same positions. Select a tree which looks like the trees in the photo that are in front of the house. For example, European Aspen XL. Let's place one and then return to photo mode to see how it looks in the photo. The tree is too small and it needs to be repositioned. With a bit of trial and error, you can get it at the right spot. With Shift-Alt, make two copies of the tree. Turn and scale each of them so they are slightly different from each other for a more natural feel. Do the same for the bushes at the side of the house. Since they are positioned on a straight line, you can use Lumion's Mass Placement tool. Looking at the render preview, I think we're off to a good start. But now let's do more to make the model blend better with the photo. We can see that the color of the original photo looks a bit bluish. Also, there's a small part of the roof on the old house that's still visible. Later, in Photoshop, we'll address all of this. Before that, 
Let's tweak and add some more Lumion effects to make the image and model blend together better. The new villa looks a bit too sharp compared to other elements in the photo. Let's make it slightly less sharp with the depth of field effect by setting the focus distance different from the real distance. For example, we can set it at half the real distance, which you can measure using the autofocus option and then play with the amount slider to get it at a similar level of blurriness as the photo. The villa also looks a bit too dark compared to the photo. Let's add an overcast real sky. Later, we'll apply some tweaks to our color correction effect to bring the light closer to the photos. To make the villa lighter, let's set the limit high slider slightly lower than the max. 0.7 should do it. Let's render the image and see what we get. Lumion renders not only the photo match, but also a photo mask and the scene without the photo. We won't be using these extra outputs in this tutorial, but we will use them in the next one. Now, let's head over to Photoshop or any similar image editor to make the corrections we spotted earlier. We'll need to edit the original photo and re-import it into the photo matching effect when we're done. Unlock its layer, click on Adjustments, then Brightness Contrast, and increase the contrast a bit. Click on Hue Saturation. Select the blues from the drop-down box and set the saturation a bit lower. Do the same for the magentas and then for the master. Click on curves and adjust the curve like this. Now we can take out the visible roof of our original photo using the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. Select the original photo layer and activate the clone stamp tool. While holding the Alt key down, click in the grass area close to the roof to take a sample. Let go of the Alt key Move the cursor down and stroke left and right across the roof to turn it into grass. Export the image. Load this new image into the photo matching effect in Lumion. Let's render the photo match again. Looks good. The obvious issues we spotted earlier are now much better. That wraps up this video. In the next photo matching tutorial, we'll make a slightly more complex image where we'll learn how to place elements of the original photo in front of the Lumion model. So stick with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial.